I'm live. Mm -hmm. Been a memento waiting for people to show up. I see one person showed up. It's either the QP app. It's the QP app. What's up? QP, how you doing? Uh, I got a few things I want to talk about, I guess. It's not going to be a long one tonight, though, because it's rainy, and I feel like uh, being inside. Martha, what's up? I just sent an email back. I don't know if you got it yet. Let me pull up the chat so I can talk to you like a normal human being through a device. Okay. Ooh, and Skooks is in. I didn't see you pop in. How you doing, guys? I really hate that almost every day now I'm sitting here talking. What's up, Scotty? Uh, oh, that's that's nice, Scott, but it's true. I can't I can't bust your balls. Um, I hate that every day now I have to bring up something about the stupid drama, but uh, I'm going to just... And I'm going to make it quick. Um, basically... Uh, Jason made a video today, and I'm, I'm sure that you guys might have seen it already, but uh, I think it shows that he's probably a really good dude just because he didn't make a shit show of it. He just said, like, something, and it wasn't anything mean or anything, and I think that's good. But as soon as, you know, because I'm always trying to, like, make the peace. I, don't, I think it's silly, uh, you know, to, to be... If, if, if so, like, like we say in the group, if you're, like, affected and... You're a good person, then then we're fucking family, and there's no reason why we can't have other families join this family. Might might not be right away, but eventually it could work out. But as soon as I started trying to make the peace, well, I just I just got this message. Uh, hold on, let me find it. Like a few minutes ago, and uh, where the fuck? Um, and, and it's it's got to be Tammy starting shit because who else knows who Tammy is besides like us and whatever so anyway two two um, messages from this person named Chambers Few a little green icon oh, it's too bright of course anyway I'll just read it to you it says oh come on Scott you're beginning to see the truth man for you to comment here you know what's right just do the right thing dude and then also oh Scott please don't parrot what MA says you know Tammy and Christopher are right. First of all, you know, that that's absurd. Like, and, and I don't even, I, I didn't get my reply in here, but um, I, I said something along the lines of, uh, well, if you're telling me to choose a side over, um, you know, whatever, I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I was like, I was like, or I don't know what the truth is then. And then I was like, I'm never gonna, I said, I, I love M.A. and the rest of the cult, and I said, and nothing's ever going to change that. So, you know, basically fuck off, because I'm not going to choose, like, anybody over this group. Um, but that being said, I'm, I'm not going to shit talk other groups either. And that's the last I'm going to say of it until the next drama pops up, then I'll talk about that. But I, th I think, I thought it was really cool the way, you know, he didn't, like, do a retaliation thing, so... I don't know, maybe things can be worked out. And that is all. Now, I will show you what is most important in life. Might take me ten minutes. Okay. Uh, gotta turn down the light again. Okay. This is little Poopy with her tongue sticking out. She always likes to stick her tongue out. She's a little cutie pie. Look at that. Who could not love that little baby? Only heartless monsters by the name of Tammy. <laughs> See, now I am being an asshole. <laughs> Fucker. Only because she started shit, though. Okay, back to the chat. Ooh, 222, two, two, huh? Sweet. 
Anything, uh, anything doing? I hope I'm right too, Scott, because seriously, like, uh, but you know what? Th that's the thing. That's the, I forgot to say this part. Obviously, if there's assholes trying to get in between these groups and, like, try to start a shit show, then that means that he's a good dude and that, <clears throat> but anywho, uh, yeah, all right. So, oh, um, shit, I don't know if I should even bring this up now. Um, I don't suppose Robert's here, but Robert, if you ever see this, could you tone it down just a smidge? Um, we, you know, we, we kind of lost someone. Uh, I mean, I get what you're doing and why you're doing it, but, um, Mar Martha's very good people, and I'm sure you've heard this by now, but, um, yeah, you know, she might not be doing, oh, at least she, as of right now, she's not doing the 24 thing anymore, and that's sad, because she, I mean, it doesn't matter, I'm, like, I'm still gonna talk to her, and I'm sure the rest of you will too, but, um, yeah, you're a little harsh, Rob, just a smidge, um, but I love you, and I love all of you, fuck off, alright, let's see what we gotta talk about here, um, I don't rem I didn't go back and look at the chat at, uh, I asked if anybody remembers a Tom and Jerry episode where he had Piano Key Tooth hanging out. Does anybody remember that? Because it's, it, well, I mean, it drove me nuts a few years ago trying to find it. And uh, I haven't looked again, but I'm sure it's not there. But I would like to know if somebody else remembers that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I said I was going to tell a quick story about, um, I was at a, um, psychiatrist when, um, when I lost my job and I had to go through a bunch of hoops to try to get it back and they made me go to, to a, uh, a psycho therapist or whatever the fuck. And, um, you know, asking all annoying questions, trying to trip me up and shit. And, um, at one point I was telling him, I was like, well, yeah, you know, I, recently gone through a lot of crap like lost my house and you know now the job and everything and and then I was like and my like I didn't tell him anything about the effect I don't even know if I knew about the effect at this point but regardless um I was like telling him about all all this crap that's been going on and uh because he asked like why I was depressed and after like the long list of shit he goes it, he goes what else or something like that I go and I got really mad I go what that's not a fucking enough like and, and, and like he, he got like all surprised because you know you know you know how fucking therapists are they think they're hot shit and like you know I don't know he was just being a dick and uh, and I made him you know jump out of his skin a little bit and that made me happy. <laughs> it's really not much of a story at all. It's just you know sticking it to the man I guess. Uh, oh yeah yeah like. I was ill, I lost the house, friends, job, that that was everything that I lost. And, and he goes, he goes, what else? Like, as if there, I, I should have more to that story, to, to be depressed. Fuck off. Um, this is just a, you know, cockamamie theory about, um, about life in general, like, how this works with our meat bags and everything. I don't think I've ever brought it up, so, uh, or if it's already a theory that's out there, um, I just figured I'd throw it out anyway. Um, so basically, what if it was like this? You know, they dropped the meat bag on Earth, and from, you know, from the start of when you're born, there's <clears throat> lots of different, um, I, I'll just use souls as, uh, you know, to make it easier as an overall thing. Like, what if there's like, different souls jump into the meat bag throughout your life and that like in turn builds the person as they you know as they grow instead of just like we have the one soul our uh, our whole life um you know not, again not much to it it's just like a thought i had the other day and if i don't know if that makes sense or if it's you know stupid or what but i just thought i was like that would be a neat idea just because you know i I totally am not the same person I was a few years ago, and I wonder if it was just a different soul jumping in at that point. 
and if that always has happened since the beginning. That is all. Um, hmm, I think I had something else too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it was something about graveyards again. Um, <clears throat> I've said before that um, I basically lived in the same area my whole life and I've never seen a graveyard being built or expanded or anything. It's always been the same few. Uh, so anyway, I was wondering if um, maybe the reason why that is is because let's say you got a burial plot here and you're burying your loved one there. Um, when you're not there, that body probably doesn't exist nor the tombstone. Or maybe the tombstone does and just like like the layers of reality, that's how um, burying the dead goes too. Like, say, Monday, you go to see your loved one. Tuesday, some other family goes, and their loved one is in the same spot. The tombstone changes to their name, blah, blah, blah. Um, it kind of would make sense. Like, that would be why there are no, you know, more cemeteries. And, you know, the way... <coughs> you could look at it the way the universe works is that it's, it's just set up that you'll never be there when... Um, you know, another family is seeing, you know, because that would be weird, you know, you show up, what do you do, who, are, who the hell are you? I'm here to see my dead loved one. Well, this is my dead loved one's, uh, burial plot. Get the fuck out of here, and then there's a big brawl. <clears throat> Just a thought is all, and I don't have them often. Shit. Ah, God damn it. I lost my goddamn torch lighter. Pissed. I gotta use this little dinky one. Now I can't find that. Oh, there it is. Never mind. So let's see what's doing in the chat. <clears throat> gotta go back up. Hello, everyone. By the way, I can't be as good as <clears throat> as Mr. Harrison. He's the rock star. I'm just some asshole sitting in his truck. Okay. Sitting in my truck, 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 smoking lots of butts, butts, butts. Gonna do my stream, stream, stream. And it's gonna suck, suck, suck. Little song for you. <clears throat> you had to block somebody today, Rocky? No. Well, if you block them, they gotta be assholes. <clears throat> I haven't, I don't think I've blocked anybody yet, but, you know, when the list comes out, I guess that's when I'll do it. Or if somebody has during the stream, I don't know. <clears throat> yes, exactly, Skooks. It's not a competition. Martha says, I am okay. Good. That's what I like to hear. Scott says, I don't get where all the hate is coming from. I think it's an outside force, quite frankly, because we were doing all, we were all doing fantastic up until the last couple days. And, it, and everybody all over the place starts being like angry and stuff. Nah, I'm not buying it. Um... Yep, and exactly. Again, Skooks, every person I listen to has taught me something in all kinds of channels. Well said. Oh, this is quite a bit ago. I better drop down a bit. Oh shit, Rockbiter, Piano Key Teeth, you remember it? And and was it um, <clears throat> Tom and Jerry and not a different cartoon? Because I thought possibly I had it, um, and Rance is the same. I thought it could have been like Looney Tunes or something, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was fucking Tom and Jerry. I found something that was similar where um, he swallowed a, I don't know what they're called, but in um, when you play pool, it's like a thing that you rest the pool stick on. 
he had one of those sticking out of his mouth and it looked funny, but it wasn't as good as the piano key teeth. Thank you, the penny drops. I try to be good, a good egg, but usually fail. And JW, you're a good man. The rapist, yeah. I'll take the rapist for 400. Scoop says, I was working in mental health for one of my uh, field work. They liked me, but didn't like my clinical instructor. And she did not like that. Oh my. Ooh, JW has a story. Tell it. Oh, Scoopman continues. So she booted me, and I got to work with the kids. Ha! All things as they should be. Good. Fuck them. Video about... Oh, okay, I thought you were talking to me, QP. Yeah, Scott, I mean, if you haven't seen it, it's not bad. He doesn't talk shit about you or nothing, so don't sweat it. Um, uh, JW says, today I went outside in, the, in my bare feet and stood in the middle of the yard. I closed my eyes and faced the sun. Hope there's more to it. That's a good thing to do, though, apparently, this grounding shit. I don't know nothing about it, but makes sense to me. Pardon me. Um, I said, Father, let me go home and ask what is going on here. Anyway, when I opened my eyes, I had a really surreal feeling. Ooh, that's neat. Then, oh, this is, suspense is killing me because there's more comments in between. Um... Headache, yeah, I have a little bit of one too. That's probably because I've been drinking coffee and eating Snickers bars. And nothing else. Uh, I went inside and looked at my phone because I was waiting for a call for a car. Then I turned the phone on and it was 911. Then, oh, you're killing me here. Tammy, you blocked, okay. Yeah, figures. I also left a comment at her too because she's she's was uh, and that was the other thing that that Jason did was Tammy like said some you know really mean nonsense or what whatever um, and then he said Tammy stop it you know don't stop hating or something and I was like that's good you know um, making another now at Scoopum although Scotty keeps distracting me thanks I enjoy making them what are you making uh, videos. Um. Oh shit! Scott says I always see nine one one as a warning sign. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not for him. Um. Okay, a notification came up from a Pandora song from Keith Urban called "Coming Home." Ooh, I like the sound of that. That's, that's not a warning. That's a good thing. I wonder if that means we're coming home or, you know, whatever you believe, God, Jesus is coming home. Or, well, I would, I would mean that, I would think that would mean that we're going home because this can't be our home. This place is fucked. As if you needed me to tell you that. Um, okay, Scott says, Harrison says, it all blew up out of nowhere. We have to be on our guard. I've said this for a few months. Yes, you did. I remember your dream and shit. Now this year we will be fooled with both newly affected, but also more shills. That's why I, I've been saying in, you know, whoever's chats that I think we're as big as we're getting. I, I mean, I, I guess there could be more coming in and everything, but I don't know. I It could just be because from my perspective... I, I can't see myself letting more people in because there's already too many with what we are now. Um, and I just, I can't look at them the same way I look at you guys. At least I don't think I can. Um, I guess that remains to be seen. 
Okay, Rock Brighter says, yes, Tom and Jerry, piano key theme. Now, I like how it's going from, you know, serious subject, JW's prophetic dream, and uh, Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Or, and, you know, whatever. Bunch of insanity in a short amount of time. Um, I think everyone will be affected. This is Skookum. Will be affected eventually. Be patient. Yeah, I guess it could be. I don't know, MA seems to think that they can't wake up. Not, I mean, that's the, that's the vibe I get, but uh, who knows? Could, could be anything, right? Um, yeah, same here, Rockbiter. Uh, like I said last night, uh, the only thing I really knew of Tammy was she was pleasant enough to me up until, you know, the last couple of days and I, I, I still haven't said shit like about her or to her like that's nasty but um she blew up on me and I you know I hate to keep going back into it but you know I'm reacting to the comments here um on I guess it was on Axe's channel or possibly Robert's last night I don't remember but um yeah it was Robert because I was responding to Robert or asking him a question and it had nothing in it that could even be misinterpreted as being rude or whatever and um and she wrote back if you're talking to me fuck off and, and i wrote back i'm not talking to you i was talking to robert or whatever she goes and and i said something like um i was like you know way to way to jump the gun there or something like that she goes she goes i said if you're talking to me i go oh yeah well that's that's how i do things too i, I tell everybody to fuck off before i find out what's going on yeah, I mean, I don't need to tell you guys. She she showed her true colors, and that's the end of it. I say that now. Um, let's see. As with MJ Mandela, I was always kind to her. Same here. But I'm an enemy now. Okay, then. Don't know her either, but never mean to her. Same thing, bro. Bro, you're nice to everybody, and everybody knows you're a good soul. And a handsome one at that. Uh, people can be pu skookums. Uh, people can be puzzling. We don't know what they are experiencing. True that. Um, JW. Uh, this is Scott replying to JW. Let's hope that's right. Maybe that means our first big jump was on 9-11. Maybe we had uh, 2001. Yeah. Um, hear the rain? I love the rain. It very rarely rains anymore around here, so I'm happy to have it. It's very snuggly weather. Um... Skookum says, I refuse to believe there is no hope for them, meaning the unaffected. I, I would like to think that it's all possible, too. I, I ju I'm just getting the feeling that, uh, at least as of now, they can't be woken up. And, and I'm telling you, like, and I've said this a billion times, my one friend, Robbie, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure he's affected, and I couldn't even get through to him. He's an open-minded guy that... Uh, he's very bright, and he actually has seen the changes, but he just, he doesn't want to, I guess he doesn't want to wake up to it or something as of yet, because I tried. Scott Harrison at Skookum. I agree. I think <clears throat> unless we know for sure, we should suppose everyone deserves help. Agreed. Although some are still beyond it sometimes. Agreed. Um, JW. Yeah, this is the, in every Mandela video and live stream I have seen. I may just give it a few days and come back and see if everyone is hugging it out yet. Yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath, but yeah, I mean... It, like everything, it'll blow over, and hopefully it won't dominate the, uh, the discussion. 
Um, I mean, I would like to, like I said before, it would be really cool if, um, if somebody's in the community that, like, doesn't have a job and wants one and thinks that they can come up with, uh, like, a topic per day, like, I don't know, just, uh, once a week come up with seven topics, pass it around, and every day we'll, we'll talk about those topics so we can all be on the same page and try to figure this shit out. Um, cause I mean, the way it's been going, it's like, <clears throat> you know, with, with me, I'll think of something, um, that I think might be related and then I'll bring it up. But then like, only if someone sees that, will they say, oh, well, I had that happen. And then they'll bring it up maybe that day or the next or whenever, really. So if, if we all had it on the same day, it'd be a lot easier to, you know, compile all our experiences and, uh, yeah, be organized and whatnot. Uh, whoops. Uh, true that, Scott, but I may be a dreamer. LOL, mental health wise. We have no idea what people are experiencing either. Some will project onto others. Yeah. Uh, being alone sucks. Yes, it does, JW. And that's why I'm telling you, this, this group is the most important thing, you know, next to my home life. Um, and it's it's even, really. Um, I, I cannot thank you guys enough for always being around and just being so, so fucking supportive. Um, I, I've been in a pretty good mood, like, for a couple weeks now, and I haven't felt like this good in, I don't know, 30 years or something? It's been a long time, and, uh, it's nothing I'm doing differently. It's just because you guys are, you know, finally people I can relate with, and, uh, apparently talking things out helps. I never believed that up until now. I thought, you know, it's all nonsense. But, uh, yeah. So thank you, everybody, for, for being you. Uh, maybe I should play some music, eh? Uh, where the fuck is that thing? Let's see. Any requests? Ooh, actually, I got one that I want to play specifically. Hopefully it's on here. Oops. something else. Play some uh, video game music. The band is The Advantage and this is from Super Mario Brothers 2. Just gotta find which one it is. I think it's this one. <laughs>
song for you. Ooh, here's something. Hopefully, I have a good song. Shit. Uh, what? That's annoying. I hate when you move music onto a device and it only gets like half of the songs. I don't get it. I'll play some old Offspring. Offspring sucks now, but they used to be really good at one point. And this album is amazing. It's called uh, Ignition. And let's see. I think this is, yeah, this is called Kick Em When He's Down. I'm coming at you. Rockbiter, um, I sent this to you in an email just in case you didn't get it. Uh, are those the Batman uh, eyebrows you remember? Some dude in a costume. Uh, so, I don't think it's Adam West anyway. Who knows, but yeah, it looks... Uh, I wasn't sure when I first saw the ones that look like girly eyebrows now. Um, I was like, it looks the same to me, but now that I see this... I don't know. It might be a dual memory. I don't know. But, uh, boobs. JW brought up boobs. They are different. And, uh, MA made a video about it a while back. Um, they're like apart more now. Um, they used to be more squishied together. But yeah. Uh, 
boobs. Not so sure about nips or anything, but the bags themselves definitely go off to the sides more. Um, now, this is a... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the screenshot that Scott has for his lightning video. Let me turn down the brightness a little bit so you can see it. Okay. So, the, the thing that stands out the most to me is the line there. It looks like a... a a monitor glitch which doesn't surprise me hopefully you can make that out um, and I'm sure that everybody noticed it but I just wanted to bring it up just in case somebody didn't uh, that's odd uh, I thought I had other pictures to show you today but I guess not uh, hmm. Oh, here's a quick story. I was supposed to do this about this picture the other day. I think I still saved it as the uh, the uh, the thumbnail for one of the streams a few days ago. So yeah, um, I hope I didn't bring this story up already, but it's a. Uh, used to have this friend Mikey and uh, in sixth grade when they started sex, sex education um, you know stupid little kid and uh, stupid kids like to uh, you know giggle about sex and boobies and whatnot whatever so anyway the very first words during our first sex education class in sixth grade uh, the teacher said Masturbation is very healthy, especially when done with a partner. My friend Mikey turns to me and he goes, Hey, partner, want to masturbate? And I thought it was just about the funniest thing I've ever heard. And that's that. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have any other pictures. Uh, so what's all going on with yous? Back to the chat. Preliminal says, great jam, thank you. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I was very, I remember being very depressed when, um, <clears throat> like, I don't know, the al that album came out, I think, the summer of, I want to say 91 or 2, maybe? <clears throat> and um, it was like th the best album that was around at the time and you know me and my friends that's like all we listened to and then it was a while before the next album came out which was Smash and it was just hot garbage and we were like I don't know I was very depressed because I was expecting it to be more like that album and it just wasn't oh well what are you gonna do maybe we'll shift to a dimension where they still make good music. Mm. No, not at all. That wasn't the same uh, eyebrows? Okay. Bad lead from them. The colors are awful. That in West Batman's black was a deep maroon purple. Oh, interesting. The areolas are bigger in general. Ooh, that we you know what we call them here around these parts? We call them manhole nips. You know, manhole covers. Uh, women do consume this is Martha by the way. Women do consume more hormones through the dairy we consume. It may make boobs get larger sooner and have a more plump appearance. I know that, like, girls in general are definitely getting huge knockers at, like, 13 and shit. It's crazy. And, like, you know, it, it makes sense in a pedo world. <clears throat> Why it would be that way. Well, that was something else I wanted to show you. More fucking pedo shit, but, like, with, with the animals. I was watching some, uh... 
chimp videos as per usual and um, some sick shit I guess you know what I'm not gonna show them now because I'm not gonna be on much longer so I should probably play music again. Hold on. No, uh, oh wait, what's it? Oh, Robert Woods, though. Um, no requests or anything? I wish I had that one fucking band I wanted to play. I don't know why it's not on here. Oh well. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna play. Where'd it go? Alright. This is that band J Church. And the song is called Alone When She Dies. Really? What the fuck? Oh, it's probably dying. Oh, it's. Yep, fucking thing's dying. Oh well, so much for that. Sorry guys, next time. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Hello, Joner or Joner? Goodbye, what? Why is everybody leaving? Thanks for all the support I got as in me can be a lonely journey. Though I support the noble idea of helping other affected, I think this has turned into a cult. God bless, man. Bye, Joner. Hope you come back. This is turning out to be a shit week, eh? So did your mate wank you off then, Scotty? Good. That's that's nice talk there, Scott. Yes, he did. Thank you. Getting back on to more pleasant things. JW, thanks for bringing it back. All boobs in every shape and size are beautiful. Couldn't have said it better myself. I don't have any Buzzcocks uh, penny drops, but I do like that one song. Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but the Ever Fallen in Love song. Burp. <laughs> Yeah, just take a break. Don't just take off, you know. I I don't know. I just, I like everybody. I don't want nobody to leave at all. But that's why if you take a break, you know, then there's no weirdness. Not that there would be any weirdness if you came back anyway or if anybody left and came back. But it's just sadness, really. Nobody wants to see anybody go. Except for Tammy. Ooh, Ooh and that's going to bring a bunch of hate mail. I'm telling you, I want chimp, chimp feet, goddammit. They, I mean, shit. They, it's like having fucking four hands. You know, they use their feet to beat off, too. I'm not kidding. That must be handy. Pun not intended, but whatever. What do I get? Yeah, that's an alright song. I like the other one better, but whatever. I'm not really a big fan of them, anyway. 
The only reason I even know that song is because it was on that video game, Rock Band. That game is the best game ever. It taught me how to kind of play drums. Okay. Nice. Have you passed those qualities down yet? Pass what qualities? Is that something I said or somebody else? I don't know. I'm confused. Alright. One more button and I'm going. Uh... Oh. Well, Robert's not here, but... So, if, uh... I don't know if I already said this before or not, but last night I didn't stream because I was on Robert's thing. Uh, I got, we had problems with it though, like my phone died and, and then I couldn't get back on when he tried, but um, you know, tried to call me back up. But that was a lot of fun. I gotta get that shit going so, you know, I can have people on. It's, it's super exciting to actually talk, you know, really talk with someone. It's, the, the text is fine, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's just a whole different thing, but I was showing them some crap I had, like military crap, and this was one of the things, I don't even know what you, it's like a, you know, on the old style phones, oh Jesus, can you see this even, yeah, alright, so, you know, one of these jobbies. So, it, like, I guess they, that's all separate pieces, so you would plug this into a main unit or whatever. But, uh, we were also talking about, like, um, uh, I don't know, free energy or just different ways of harnessing energy. And I didn't think about this until after the conversation. I was already kicked off the stream, but, um, you know, he had this, um, this generator thing where you pedal, uh, well, you really use your arms and, like, pedal it like a bike. But, um, he said then it, like, you know, will juice up a battery or whatever. But I was, like, thinking about, like, this thing, like, if you were to somehow rig something like this up, where when you, you know, you're turning it one way, and once it gets to its end, and when you let go, it could power, you know, put power back in the other way as it's, uh, re reversing the, uh, whatever you'd call it, you know? You know what I'm saying, goddammit. Um... Yeah, so you'll get power going in both ways, and, uh, I don't know, thought it would be neat. That is all. I don't know if they make anything like that. I mean, I just... <sighs> Whatever. Okay. I think that's it for me. Um, only got ten minutes left anyway. Questions, comments, anything? Because I told my girl I was only going to be about a half hour, and I'm already a little bit over that, so. Um, all right, well. Ah, come on, okay. Um, yeah, all right, well, I'm out, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I... See you tomorrow. Love, light, toothy blowjobs for everyone. Goodbye.